This is Kevin Ring with Nationwide Video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an offline design with Novastar's Smart LCT and then how to export this as a screen connection diagram to give to your technicians on site. So with Smart LCT open, I'm going to select Create Offline Design. Here I'm able to give the name, I'm able to name the project. I will call this Kevin LED test, and I'll have it saved to my documents folder. What's cool with Smart LCT is you can actually tell it what processor you're going to be using. So we have the full list of the compliant Novastar processors. I'll uh, select a MCTRL 4K. Now with the cabinets, you need to have the RCFG X file for the cabinets. The RCFG X file can be created in Nova LCT. When you save an RCFG to file, it will automatically create it as an RCFG X file. So I have an InfoLED DB 2.6. I can now tell Nova LCT, I'm sorry, Smart LCT, how large my wall is going to be. 16 by 8, and I will hit OK. It now opens up and has my wall fully diagrammed. On the left hand side, we will see our processor or processors, as with all the ports. We have the visualizer in the center and the properties tab on the right hand side. If I expand this arrow at the bottom, it's going to show me all of my ports and it's going to show me the capacity of each port. So now, as I start to wire my LED wall, note that it's now showing the capacity per that port. So this is really great if math is not uh, something you feel like doing. And it's also really good just to get a visual to figure out what your diagram and wiring is going to look like. One thing that I really like about Smart LCT as well is we can change the screen orientation to be front view or back view. In Nova LCT, when we look at the wiring of the screen, we are looking at it exclusively from the front perspective. But we know as technicians in the field, when we're wiring the wall, we are oftentimes wiring it from the back of the screen. This involves a little bit of mental gymnastics. What I can do is I can switch it to the rear view. Now I'm looking at it from the backstage perspective. Now, of course, there are shortcuts for uh, auto connecting and auto wiring these cabinets, but I just find something very uh, soothing about the act of doing it here. Let me just quickly finish these last ones. I messed that up, but that's perfectly okay for this demonstration. There are also hotkeys to utilize your arrows on your keyboard for this, and but that's all documented well in the user guide. But you're noticing as I'm filling these up, we're seeing the port capacity down below. This is integral to make sure that I do not overload a port or my processor. And done. At this point, if I were on a live system, I could hit send. This would send the mapping to the LED wall. Everyone will be happy. Now what I can do though, is I can take this diagram and export this as a PDF or a CSV file for use for a later point in time. If I go up to project, there's a tab here called export. I can export the front view or the back view. Let me just save this to my desktop so I can find it quickly. Where is my desktop? Oops. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. And we hit export. This now creates a new folder on my desktop, which I'll drag over here. And here is the CSV, and here is the PD, or PNG. If I open this up, sure enough, this has my wiring diagram. If I want, I can customize the watermark. I can customize the logo on here as well. But this is now showing me exactly how the LED wall is to be wired. In addition, it also tells me the operating voltage, the weight in kilograms, and the loaded width and height of the LED display itself. 
hopefully you find this uh, interesting and useful. Thanks again.